Hey guys, it's Gary again, and um, just we're back at work now. Happy New Year again. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a suit now, and back in the office, and I'm just working, getting back to the grind, looking at uh, my clients and my properties and seeing how the market's doing. You've probably uh, heard about 2019 tax assessments have gone down in the greater Vancouver area. And oh, by the way, I'm here with my team member, Alina. Alina. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. And so the 2019 tax assessments, you probably haven't gotten in the mail yet, um, but you can actually check online at eValueBC and you can see that they've either gone up or gone down. Most of the entry level apartments or apartments have gone up slightly and many houses, single detached, have gone down. And like I mentioned in my book, the book on Vancouver real estate, when they, the tax assessments are based on the assessment done the year before. So you get 2019 tax assessment, but it's actually July of the previous year that they actually made the assessment, the evaluation. Um, they did the evaluation in July or June or July on the, uh, uh, the building itself. And then in, the um, in October they do like the the land or the areas so anyways the point is you don't have to know the specific details of it but it's not completely accurate so don't base your uh, market evaluation of your property on the tax assessments definitely uh, don't base it on what you read in the news or online articles where they say, oh, well, like prices have gone down 20% or 30% or the market has slowed 30% down in sales or whatever. It's very dependent on the type of property you own. So it's always prudent to speak with your realtor, speak with a professional who knows what's going on in your specific market, in your specific apartment building, in your specific area. And of course, if you have questions, reach out. Uh, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, uh, somewhere in this link or down below in the description, there's a link to get a copy of uh, my book. So definitely uh, click there and you can get a copy to learn like basics of real estate investing and buying and selling real estate. Uh, and definitely uh, it's actually a really good time to buy properties in January. A lot of properties that were listed in December are based off of 2018 tax assessments so 2019 tax assessments have come out but those owners have not uh, have not realized that and have not recognized that and have not adjusted their prices so sometimes you're able to snag a pretty great deal I've also talked about that in my book as well so but definitely reach out talk to your professional realtor uh, and find out more details um, and uh, yeah, and that's it for today. And we'll talk to you, I'll see you in the next video.